Heavenly Father God, what would be a miracle, Father God, is for the ones that are children of you, Father God, to get saved enough to love people like me, Father God. And Father God, I thank you, Father God, what would be miracle also, Father God, for your children, Father God, to get saved enough and grabbed unto the salvation of your Son, Jesus Christ. Enough, Father God. To learn how to love genuinely and unconditionally like you, Father God, have loved me unconditionally and genuinely and everlastingly, Father God, for the entire body of Christ to learn how to love the way you love, to love what you love and to hate what you hate, Father God. Because, Father God, people like me have been overly hated all my life and all their lives, Father God. I have been smashed down and beaten down and stomped down to the ground, Father God, and no one cared but you, Father God. Even by Christians, Father God, I have been stomped down and smashed into the ground like a smash rose into the ground. Father God, left alone, deserted, forgotten about, kicked to and tossed and fro like a tempest, Father God, and no one never cared instead they mocked and laughed and snickered and laughed up down back and forth to the streets father god but i do want i do know one thing father god you love me in spite of how many so many people that I have ran across in my lifetime, Father God, that hated me more than anybody have ever dared to love me, Father God. And Father, I thank you that you are really the only one that I have ever known that truly loved me, Father God, and that your son, Jesus Christ, Loves me, Father God, genuinely and sincerely, Father God, and everlastingly, without any strings attached to it, Father God. Thank you for your love. In this season and time in my life, Father God, this is the most crucial time of the season of my life, Father God. That I have ever known hatred to the extreme hardcore, to beyond the 10th degree of hatred, Father God. And receiving that hatred mostly from people that claim to be your children, Father God. When they act like the children of Satan when it comes to loving me. Unconditionally and genuine and genuinely, Father God. Unfortunately, Father God, too many so called Christians, Father God, claim to love each other. They claim to love me for many years, Father God, that I went to the synagogues, to churches, Father God. The so called Christian leaders talking about love. But turning around, kicking their heels against me, Father God, and also are responsible for putting me in this satanic, slavery, murderous, covert gain stocking program 
put me out to the slaughter to be killed by the werewolves, Father God. And they, these evil leaders in these churches, sit back and mock me for it and laugh and feast over it, Father God, and roast over it, Father God, and boast over it. But Father, I just want to say thank you for loving me unconditionally, for loving all of me, Father God, the good, bad, and ugly about me, unconditionally, everlastingly, and genuinely, Father God, and for not kicking me to the curb like so many Christians, so many Christians have done, and so many others have done, even in within my own family Father God I have no friends no family and I have nobody in the body of Christ that cares about me that I have seen Father God in my lifetime I'm not saying that Christians have not shown me kind acts because they have but I'm talking about as far as the genuine agape love from these so called Christians in these churches and outside of these churches, I have never seen it, Father God, to me. I have seen other Christians more so loving their little favorite ones and their little cliques, Father God, but not me, Father God. And so, Father God, I just pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you would do the miracle Father God, unto the body of Christ to teach them how to truly love one another, how to truly first love themselves because you tell us to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. Father God, and we have flunked out in loving ourselves as well as flunked out as loving each other. So, Father God, I pray that you would teach Christians how to truly love themselves first, Father God, and then how to love their neighbors and how to love you. Because if we don't love ourselves, we can't love our neighbors. And if we don't love our neighbors, Father God, we do not love you because we disobey your commandments and Love and loving one another as we love ourselves. So you said in your word, Father God, if we love you, Father God, we will obey your commandments. And Father, one of the biggest commandments that the body of Christ did not obey and is not obeying to this very day is loving one another. Father God, among the body of Christ. Father God, as brothers and sisters in Christ, we have fell in that in the body of Christ. Father God, and not saying that nobody don't love nobody in the body of Christ. Don't get me wrong, but I'm talking about generally, Father God, we have fell. Father God, as me as a child of God, I did the very best I could to love my brothers and sisters in Christ. And I guarantee you, Father God, I'm not perfect in loving my brothers and sisters in Christ because I'm not perfect. But I guarantee you, Father God, that I have loved my brothers and sisters in Christ a whole lot more than they have dished out to love me, Father God. I have received the back end of their foot, Father God, and their back. For the ways that I have reached out to love my brothers and sisters in Christ. Heavenly Father God. I guarantee you Father God. That as much as I have loved my brothers and sisters in Christ by actions. Father God. My brothers and sisters in Christ. Have flunked out in loving me. And they have not issued back. And returned back any too much of the love that I have given to them Father God and shown to them unconditionally 
accepting them as people, but no one in the body of Christ never received me, Father, nor did they ever know me, or did they ever truly wanted to know me. They only played up to me to milk me for information, to use it against me, as far as enlisting me, Father God, in this covert gain stalking program and plotting my death, Father God, in various types of measures, Father God, against me behind my back, Father God, behind closed doors, gathering together against me behind closed doors to plot evil against me and to make sure that my life would be a total living hell and to be very hard and unbearable and hellish to live, Father God. And that equals hatred, hardcore satanic hatred from Satan, Father God, from Satan operating through the body of Christ towards me, Father God. Heavenly Father, you are love. And I thank you for being my love. And I thank you for helping me to love you. And helping me to love myself as I love my neighbors, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that I do have the love of Jesus Christ in my heart. Despite of how badly I have been mistreated unjustly by so many Christians, Father God, and by this world, because I don't expect the world to love me because they are part of Satan and they are the children of darkness. And Satan loves no one. And Satan is their father. So they're not going to love just like their spiritual father doesn't love. But Father God, your children are to love because you command your children to love, to love each other in the body of Christ. There are other brothers and sisters in the body of Christ. So it is normal for me to expect me to receive love from your children, Father God, in the body of Christ. And I have not received that. So I have been robbed of that by the enemy, Father God. But one thing that the devil cannot rob me of, Father God, is your love for me. Your unconditional love for me, Father God. Your unconditional, everlasting, genuinely love, genuine love for me. Because you love me everlastingly, unconditionally, and genuinely and sincerely, Father God. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for loving me, for loving me. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for loving me. Unconditionally, I thank you, Lord, Jehovah God, Jehovah Yah, Jehovah God, for loving me. Unconditionally, for loving me. Everlastingly, for loving me, genuinely, my Lord, Jehovah Yah, Jehovah God, I thank you, Lord, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. For loving me all the time, forevermore, genuinely, everlasting.